The upsell plugin now officially integrates with both Thrive Architect and Thrive Automator. Creating sales funnels has never been easier and I'm here to walk you through all of the powerful things that you can do using Thrive Suite and the upsell plugin. Hi everyone, this is Tony with Thrive Themes and I'm here to remind you to smash that like button for me and to subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel. It really helps us understand what type of content you guys are interested in. Quick overview before we start playing with WordPress. The upsell plugin allows us to create sales funnels with Thrive Architect. And so the overall idea is to create a page that serves as a sale page, a page that serves as a as an upsell page, another page that serves as a downsell page, and of course, a thank you page that serves as a confirmation page and that displays the entire order details for our customers. And of course, we wanna do this with Thrive Architect. And this is actually quite powerful because that means that we have complete creative control over our sales pages and, uh, and of course our upsell pages, downsell pages, and thank you pages because we're building them out with Thrive Architect. Now, in order to follow along this tutorial, you need to create a couple of things for me. You need to have a sales page, an upsell page, a downsell page, and an order confirmation page already created inside Thrive Architect. And you also wanna have created at least three different products inside the upsell plugin. Of course, these three products are going to be your main product. In my case, it's gonna be a course. Um, you also want to have your upsell product created and a downsell product. Okay, let's jump over to WordPress. Okay, so inside WordPress, as you can see, I have my four different pages created. I've got my main sales page, which if I click on the main call to action, it scrolls all the way down to the billing details where I can just confirm my purchase. I also have created an upsell page, which consists of a weekly coaching session with me. Um, this is my higher end ticket product. Um, it's a $499 product that people can buy if they want. Of course, this is an upsell. Um, please notice how I've actually in, uh, introduced two main call to actions on this particular page. You've got a main button that says add for $499 per month. And then there's also a lighter call to action here that says no thank you, maybe next time. If I navigate over to the downsell page, something similar happens, right? I've got my main downsell product, which is a $48 masterclass that they can buy on top of my course. And then again, we've got two call to actions here. One is to add the product onto my order. And then we've got a lighter call to action that says, hey, you know what, maybe next time. And then if we navigate over to our thank you page, I simply have um, the order confirmation page with all of the details for my order. Now guys, design wise, I didn't do the mo most amazing job here. I'm just trying to show you how you can tie all these things together, okay? So nav let's navigate over to the upsell plugin section of our WordPress website. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the upsell plugin installed on my WordPress website, and I have my three different products created. Let me just open up the main product so that you can see how I've set it up. I've got my course product, it's worth $199. It is a digital product, and if I go into my general settings, you can see that it's a single time, a single time payment type. It's a digital product, and it's product price, it's $199. And where you're really going to get fancy here is with the URL options. And here you can see that we need to set a purchase redirect type. Now for this particular product, we're not gonna use the purchase URL or the skip purchase URL, because of course we've got our main checkout form right on our sales page. And so if people don't wanna purchase the product, they can just leave our site. I mean, they don't really need a skip purchase URL. And if they do purchase our, uh, the product, what we're gonna do is redirect people to our upsell page. So we're gonna tell the upsell plugin that they need to, well, the, the page that it needs to redirect upon checking out is my upsell 2.0 product page. In your scenario, you're probably calling it something different. Just look for your page here. And then the important step here is that we need to grab our checkout form short code to put it inside our main sales page with Thrive Architect. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna navigate back to our main sales page. And if I open it up with Thrive Architect, 
And if I scroll down to the very bottom of my sales page, right above the guarantee badge, I've got a content box and I've thrown in there a WordPress content widget. If you edit it, you can simply insert the short code for the checkout form for that particular product. In case you're wondering, you can simply insert a jump link by clicking on the main button and enabling the jump link option with a smooth animation. You modify your target to wherever it is that you're placing your checkout form. In my case, it's right here. I'm selecting the content box, add jump link, and Thrive Architect automatically does that really nice and really beautifully. All right, save your changes, and let's move on to the next step. So for our next step, we're going to jump over to our upsell uh, page, our sales page. And you wanna make sure that you've got your main two call to action buttons in there. Um, this is actually, let me actually open it up with Thrive Architect here for you. I'm using a legitimate button for my main call to action, but I'm only using a text widget for the lighter call to action. So I'm gonna navigate back to my products inside the upsell plugin. And if you open up your upsell product, here is where we're actually going to make use of the purchase URL and the skip purchase URL. So for the purchase URL, I'm gonna grab the link and I'm just gonna drop it inside the link behavior of my main button. Here you can see how I simply inserted the purchase URL inside the main button link for my main call to action. And this is a text widget like literally a standard text element. And what I did is to make it subtle, I didn't actually create a button. I simply inserted a little bit of text. Um, you can make this as fancy as you want. Um, I simply did no thanks, maybe next time, inserted a link and the link that you wanna use is the skip purchase URL. So this is quite powerful. What the upsell plugin is doing is for the people that do decide to purchase the upsell, it automatically adds the amount to their total order. So they don't have to go through the whole checkout experience again. It's gonna add in a $499 product onto their order, their existing order. So it, it kind of really works really beautifully. And if people don't purchase the product, then well, here is where we get to tell the upsell plugin what happens, right? So in my case, if people do purchase the product, I simply send them to the thank you page. I mean, I don't necessarily think it's, a, it's an amazing idea to offer a downsell product to people that have already purchased an upsell product. If you choose to do so, uh, good luck. And then for the skip purchase redirect type, we're going to send people to a page, which is our downsell page. All right, so my downsell page is downsell 2.0. I'm gonna hit update. And so now what we just did is we told the upsell plugin that for people that do end up purchasing the product, they're gonna get immediately taken to the thank you page and that people that decide to hit this no thanks maybe next time call to action, they're gonna get redirected to the downsell page. So let's navigate over to the downsell page and see what that looks like. Awesome, so for our downsell product and our downsell page, we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we just did with our upsell options. So we're gonna open up this downsell product page with Thrive Architect. And in the meantime, I can actually go ahead and open up the product for the upsell plugin as well. I'm gonna navigate in here and I can tell that there's a bug in there because it's not meant to be free. It's meant to be $48. So inside our general settings, we can go and type in 48, perfect. And inside our checkout settings, sorry, URL options here, we've got the purchase URL. This is the link that we're going to give and assign to our main call to action button. Excellent. And then we need the skip purchase URL. We're gonna assign it to our no thanks, maybe next time text. Excellent. Make sure you save your changes and we are all done here. We navigate back to our main downsell product page though, we still need to tell the upsell plugin, okay, what happens when people do purchase the downsell product and what happens if they don't decide to skip, I mean, if they don't decide to purchase the downsell product. So in my case, whether they buy or not buy, I'm just gonna take them to the thank you page. There's no other additional product that I wanna try to sell them on. So and in this case, we can just sell them to the thank you page. Awesome, so the last step is to actually build out a thank you page 
um, the one thing that you're going to need is the short code that actually displays the order details for your customer. So in order to get that, you're gonna navigate over to the upsell settings tab. And under the short codes tab, you can see that, there, well, you've got a list of all of the possible short codes that you can use. And in my case, I'm gonna use upsell orders to actually show in the thank you page this nice list of uh, products that my customer has purchased. So again, it's as simple as opening up the page with Thrive Architect. We're gonna stick a content box and then our short code inside the content box. All right, so let's insert a content box real quick above this current one, just as a way of showing you guys. And then we need a WordPress content. I'm gonna stick my short code in there. Perfect save and let's actually see what that looks like cool so that seems to work just fine cool so this already in it of itself is a pretty powerful sales funnel i mean with a click of a button we can have people add on more products and services onto their order uh, but it, it gets even better when we take a look at what we can do with Thrive Automator. So let's actually head over to Thrive Automator. And inside Thrive Automator, if I try to create a new automation, since I have the upsell plugin installed, you're going to see that I have a new trigger category, which is pretty cool. It's the upsell plugin trigger category. And as you can see, I've got five different triggers as of right now. And I can already tell that some of you guys are going to be using the upsell order created. So for example, we could use this trigger to give people access to a Thrive Apprentice product, right? I mean, upon creating a, an order, you give people access to a specific Thrive Apprentice product. Or my personal favorite one, we can actually tag people inside our CRM. So the upsell plugin, without even needing to use Thrive Automator already lets you send people into your CRM and add them into a specific list in there. But with Thrive Automator, we can take this one step further because we can actually tag people and send them into custom automations inside our CRM. So for example, if an upsell product purchase gets completed, we can actually tag people inside our autoresponder and put them inside a specific workflow for people that get automatically tagged with a specific tag that we determine. Anyways, this is it for this video. If you've got any questions or concerns about how you can use Thrive Architect and the Upsell plugin, be sure to drop them down below in the comment section. Important, there is a link for you to grab a license of Thrive Suite down in the description box. It's not only good to build out powerful sales funnels, but you can actually build a scalable, profitable online business with it. Be sure to hit that link in the description box for more information. This has been an absolute pleasure. I am Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes, and I shall see you guys soon.